Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated banner using Google Web Designer. This is going to be the finished product. We'll have an animation on the button and it'll change color when you mouse over it and then it goes back. So let's begin. Let's create a new file. Enter your file name. Leave the dimension to 300 by 250 and animation mode advanced. Let's start with the background and click the shape tool. That's the color that I like. Let's make sure this size is correct, which should be 300 by 250. And the position is zero, zero. I'm gonna name this background. So now let's create our text. Select the text tool. Let's change the color to white. And I'm gonna use the Georgia font. The size would be 35. Type in learn. I'm just gonna make sure it's all the way in a corner, top left. And let's move it 22 pixels to the right. Type the next line to start. It should be 22 pixels to the right. And split 40. Now let's create the third line. Should be 22 again. And this should be 80. Now the last line. Should be 22. And this should be 120. All right, so that looks good. So now let's import our logo. So just open Finder and simply drag the logo. Name the property to logo. And now let's resize it. Okay, this looks good. Now create a keyframe on each line under the two second mark. So what we want to do is we want it to make it disappear. So we'll start with opacity zero. Then it ends with opacity one. And let's do that to all the text. You can simply select all the keyframes that you want. Or do it one by one. So now let's start the animation to start each line from right to left. Put 300 here. Do this on the first keyframe of each line. Change them all to 300. So now select the last keyframe for each line. 
and then change them all to 22. So the second and third line looks like it got messed up. I'm just gonna adjust that. I'll do the same thing for the third line. Let's play it and see how it looks. So that looks really good. So I want to speed up the animation a little bit. I'm going to adjust it to one second as opposed to two seconds. I also don't want all the lines to go in at the same time. I'm going to drag each line to start 0.5 second after each line. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's really nice. So now let's put a keyframe under 3.5 seconds. So it pauses on 3.5 seconds. Now let's change the animation to ease in, right click on it, ease in, right click again, ease in again, and do it for each line. Okay, let's see how it looks. So I'm going to extend each line to last longer. So I'm gonna drag each keyframe to four seconds. This way, people has a little bit more time to read each line. Okay, so now let's make each line disappear. We can do this by creating a keyframe on five seconds. And then changing the opacity of each keyframe to zero. The effect will look like each line is disappearing one by one. And just like the first animation, we're going to make them disappear line by line. Now the next thing I want to do is create the second set of paragraph. Let's lock each lines that we just created by pressing the lock icon there. And then pick the text tool and type in I'm gonna adjust the text box size and recenter it on the page. I'm just gonna make an adjustment on the position. So now let's animate this text. Let's create a keyframe under 5.5 seconds and under 6.5 seconds. So we're gonna make the keyframe under 5.5 seconds to double its size. So we go to X and change it to two and the Y to two as well. Let's also change the opacity to zero. I'm just gonna check the last keyframe that's unchanged and this is how it's going to look. Let's remove the first keyframe so it's not visible in the first five seconds. So now let's change the animation to ease in. Now let's do a quick preview. The next thing we want to do is create the button. Let's lock this layer, select the shape tool, and draw a rectangle. Select the size, make sure it's 233 width and 53 height. And let's round the corners to 45. I'm going to change the color to something else. I have this one. All right, so now let me just recenter it. 
and then rename the layer as box. Let's put a text on it. Need to resize it to 25. Make it fit in that button. I think this text needs to be resized to 20. I'm just going to recenter this on the button and adjust the position. Now we are ready to create the animation for the button. Insert a keyframe for both layers on 6 seconds and 6.5 seconds. And we're going to make the 6 second one to 2 and opacity 0. It's going to have the same effect as the second paragraph. The button will slowly lay down on the banner. I'm going to make a slight adjustment on the button. I'm going to push it forward a bit and change the animation to ease in. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to remove the first keyframes that he created. Just right click, remove keyframe. Let's do a quick preview and see how it looks. Okay, that's good. So now let's put an animation on the button. Go to components and select tap area and drag it over the button. Resize it to fit the button. And let's put an event on it. Right click and add event. Go to mouse, mouse over, CSS, set styles, pick the box, add a property, background to black. Click OK. Now right click again, add event mouse out, CSS, box, and background, put the old color back, so right click again, add event, this time pick tap area, touch click, google add, exit add, and the metric, whatever you want, and put a web address here. Click OK. Put the mouse over, and it changes color. When you click it, you should go to the website. All right, that's good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe.